Well, since we uh, we uh, restored our Miller's Falls uh, brace with a 10-inch sweep, we've been kind of uh, drill crazy, if you will. Um, so, last video, which was today, we restored a couple of antique uh, bits that were for reaming, a couple of uh, antique reams. So... Uh, now we're moving on to an antique wood spade. Okay, it's an adjustable wood spade. Okay, and this is for use with uh, tools such as the Miller's Falls um, brace. Okay, so we're going to do a full restore on this one. Okay, so we're going to sharpen the blades, we're going to clean everything, take the rust off, uh, you know, so we're going to do a restore on this. Alright, so this tool is approximately 100 years old, so it's, uh, it's served many generations well, and uh, we want to preserve it and move it forward uh, to the next generation, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to start this restore uh, by uh, soaking the head of the bit in liquid wrench. Okay, so we let that sit in the liquid wrench for about 10 minutes. All right, so I would assume that that... Uh, Screw is loose at this point. Should be. Let's see. Got a screwdriver that fits in the slot very snug. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we're going to take uh, this over to the uh, uh, brass wire wheel and uh, clean it up a little bit. All right, we'll meet you over there. All right, we're over here at our brass wire wheel. Love the brass wire wheel because it's low impact. It won't take any material off of a uh, carbon steel uh, object, okay? It'll just remove the residue, and uh, there is a little bit of rust here, mostly patina. But, uh, yeah, so it's a great option, okay? Uh, make sure or make certain to use a brass wire wheel, not a steel wire wheel. Steel wire wheel will remove material, okay? All right, brass will not because the brass is much softer than the steel, okay? So make sure to use brass. Uh... So uh, we clean this up with the brass wire wheel and you can see the back of the tool has quite a bit of pitting damage okay fairly deep um, yeah so this is this is the result of um, probably decades of not taking care of this this uh, tool properly all right because that's some very deep pitting it won't it won't affect the functionality um, and we're not going to remove any material to try to make that look, you know, pretty, if you will. Uh, I don't care about that. I care about the functionality of this tool. Um, so we're going to leave that alone. And yeah, the only thing we are going to do uh, is to clean up the burrs that are on the chuck side. on it so we're going to clean that up we're going to put that in our 
Craftsman Vice, our 1952 Craftsman model 5176 Vice with uh, brass jaws that we've fabricated for it. From here is we're going to take that screw, we're going to put it into our drill. All right, tighten down on that. Got four cent pieces of sandpaper here. We're starting with 400. Okay, so we're going to polish out those uh, marks made by the uh, 300 grit. the difference there. It's basically polished at this point. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to sharpen the blade. Okay. It's not in bad shape, but it needs to have a uh, fresh edge on it to really, uh, really cut well. Okay. So back at the vise, we've got the bit for the cutting, uh, cutting edge small piece of leather. We're going to wrap that on there just to protect it. So we're going to use the same 300 grit diamond file to sharpen the edge of this blade. Okay. Okay, so what I did from here is I took that flat file and I wrapped a piece of uh, 400 around it. All right, so we're just going to hit that with some 400. All right, so we've got these all these components cleaned up real well. No more rust. Uh, right now we're just hitting them again with uh, alcohol just to really get them as clean as possible before we blew. Of course you know me. I blew everything I can. Okay, so we're bluing the, uh, the main shaft and the retainer pleat. Okay, so those parts have been soaking for a couple minutes. We're just going to take some tap water and just clean off the acid. Alright, so these parts have been dried off real well. Alright, just going to hit them lightly with some uh, steel wool. Take those two blue components, hit them with a little lubricant. Okay, so now we're at the point of reassembly. Okay, you can see we blued two of the components, the main shaft, the retaining uh, plate, and the, the actual cutting blade we sharpened and uh, polished. And we uh, deburred the screw head squared off the slot and uh, yeah, so we're in good shape.
All right, so we're going to uh, put it back together and then we're going to run it for a test. Not a lot of parts, very simple installation. This blade is razor sharp. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Get the retaining plate. This side fits into a slot here. There's a slot, it's like a mortise, mortise and a tenon. Fits right in there. I mean the way they design this is simple, but just I don't know. I just love it. There goes the screw. Look at that. All right, so let's set. We'll set this at. One and a quarter. Set that at one and a quarter. We will lock that down. Okay, so we brought our, uh, our brace in. We're going to plug in. Look at that. Look at the way that looks. Okay, we've got our board here. We've got our newly or freshly restored spade bit set to an inch and a quarter. We'll see how she functions. Let's make sure we have a good angle on this. Should do it. Okay. Cut an absolutely perfect hole. Crisp. It's a very crisp hole. The edges here are incredible. <laughs> 